faster speeds, heavier vehicles, intense demands in a fast-paced stop-and-go world. What's stopping you? Telma. Your vehicle is equipped with a Telma frictionless braking system. Permanently connected to the driveline of your vehicle, it provides you with essential safety, cost-effectiveness, accurate and reliable braking, and is ready to function under all circumstances. Telma supplies your vehicle with an additional braking system that works along with your foundation brakes. You will benefit from improved braking, resulting in increased safety and substantial savings on brakes, tires, and route times. The Telma is a simple, fully integrated system that is always ready to operate as soon as the vehicle is moving over two miles per hour. Proper use of the Telma will provide you with safe and effective braking in all conditions. City, highway, hilly, long gradients, snow, ice, or mud. And most importantly, by adding a Telma to your vehicle, you will be able to reduce your stopping distance by up to 30% and without fade. The Telma system is configured so that it will be applied gradually in four stages. The four stages reflect 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% of Telma power that is applied. Your vehicle is fitted with one or more types of control systems used to activate the Telma. Foot control, hand control, and off-throttle control. The foot control is integrated into the vehicle's braking system. You should only notice a slight difference in the foot pressure needed to start slowing the vehicle. No other modifications to driving style are needed using the foot pedal control. The off-throttle control allows the Tumble to start slowing the vehicle immediately as you let off the accelerator pedal. As you depress the brake pedal, the remaining Telma force will be applied. If a vehicle has been fitted with both hand controls and off-throttle, you can select the number of Telma stages that will activate when the accelerator pedal is released. If your vehicle is equipped with the off-throttle control, ask your supervisor how many stages have been wired in. Any of the three applications can be combined to provide increased braking versatility. The hand control is recommended for mountainous applications. Your hand control will be mounted either on the steering column or built into the dashboard. To activate the Telma using the hand control, simply move the hand lever to the desired braking power position. Position 0, the Telma power is off. Position 1, 25% power. Position 2, 50%. Position 3, 75%. Position 4, 100%. Important, basic hand control does not turn off automatically or at low speed. Don't forget to reset the lever to position zero when the vehicle is stationary or when the Telma is no longer required. A dashboard indicator lets you know when the Telma is engaged. This indicator has four separate lights that light up as the unit is activated. Each light corresponds to one of the Telma's four stages of power. Important. The lights indicate that the Telma is operating. They should never illuminate when the vehicle is stopped or when the brakes are not applied. If this occurs, contact your maintenance facility for immediate repair. The Telma system is equipped with an electronic interface designed to work with the vehicle's anti-lock braking system, or ABS. An ABS event is defined as any wheel lockup. During an ABS event, the Telma will automatically shut off to allow the anti-lock braking system to control the brakes. After the ABS event, when the wheels are no longer locked, the Telma will reactivate progressively to assure proper braking. If the vehicle's ABS warning light remains on, the Telma will not operate. When the ABS warning light is on, there is a problem with the anti-lock braking system. The ABS must be serviced before the Telma will operate. The Telma braking system consists of several parts. Here are the major components. There are two types of Telmas, a driveline mount and a focal mount. There's no difference in their operation or performance. The difference is where the Telma is mounted. The driveline unit is mounted within the driveline, between the transmission and the rear axle. The focal is mounted directly to the rear axle. The relay box is normally located on the outside of the chassis rail. The relay box distributes power from the battery system to the Telma. Foot switches. The Telma utilizes one of two types of foot switches to engage the Telma. 
pressure switches or mechanical switches. Both types of switches are usually located within the cab of the vehicle and are usually out of direct sight of the driver. Pressure switches are used when a unit has air brakes. These four pressure switches are activated when the brake pedal is applied. Mechanical switches are used when a unit is equipped with hydraulic brakes. The Telma hydraulic brake foot switch has four levels of activation based on brake pedal position. The dashboard indicator lights are located within the driving compartment clearly visible to the driver. The ABS interface is also located in the cab near the foot switches. The ABS interface may not be visible to the driver. The Telma requires minimal routine maintenance to ensure optimal braking and safety. A detailed explanation of the routine maintenance can be found in the maintenance manual and also in the maintenance video. Important, in the case of any abnormalities in the function of your Telma, consult your certified Telma dealer or the Telma technical team as soon as possible for assistance in the maintenance of your vehicle. When using the brake pedal application, it will take the driver less brake pedal pressure to slow the vehicle than with the previous standard brakes. The Telma will automatically shut off at low speeds, generally below 2 miles per hour. Make sure all four dashboard indicator lights come on in sequence when the brake pedal is fully engaged. When the vehicle's ABS warning light stays on, the Telma will not operate. If you notice a reduction in the Telma braking force, please notify your maintenance department. The Telma unit should be free of debris before the vehicle is driven. Pressure washing may be required to clean the unit. Pressure washing instructions can be found in the maintenance manual and the maintenance video. The Telma will work in reverse, normally above 2 miles per hour. The Telma will not magnetically attract metal objects. The Telma is integrated into the vehicle and braking system. To avoid vehicle malfunction, do not tamper with or disable it. For a more detailed explanation on how the Telma works, consult the driver's manual. If you don't have a driver's manual, ask your supervisor. After just a few minutes of operation, you will be able to feel the power that Telma can add to your normal braking. We hope this video has helped you to better understand the Telma frictionless braking system. Additional information can be found on the Telma website, telmausa.com. Thank you. Drive safely.